Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick video for those of you who are thinking about <clears throat> buying the Cane Creek e-silk stem off AliExpress. So, one of these is real, and one of these is not. So, I mean, right away you can see like... See that little bit of Loctite? The clues are all there. See the shape of the bolts? How oh, they're like triangular. Those are square. Look at the, uh, the machining here. See how that edge is really sharp? And you can see the machine marks, whereas this one it's nice and smooth, nice rounded edges. And then if you look inside, you can see where they machined away some material on the inside of the stem. This one has a lot more of it cut out. And then I think the dead giveaway is the weight. 267. <clears throat> 222. So if you haven't figured it out already, uh, the silver one that's from Ally Express, <clears throat> and this black one is one I got online in the States from 365 Cycles. Some other things to note with the Ally Express stem you have this pin, and you can see how it's kind of got the burrs on it, and it's, not, it's really rough, rough machine in there. I don't know if this is just an unfinished version or like a counterfeit. Like see how that side is like machine smooth and that has like a very, very sharp edge on it. Same with like all the edges really. Pretty sharp edges. And I don't think the weight difference comes down to this switch. I mean, the depth that these are machined to. This one has a lot more material taken out of it. And you can see the thickness of the wall is much thinner. There's a lot more machining that went into that. We can just measure it here. It's at 1.62 versus... It just looks thinner. But this is the main thing, the depth. Forty nine versus Ooh, this is way deeper. 58 so that's where the weight difference is they've taken out so much more material from this black one and then this bolt on top is different the logos are in different places this one has a serial number that one does not and I will be returning the silver one to Ally Express, mostly because these don't line up. The faceplate is not centered on the stem. See that little gap there? Whereas, it's nice and lined up. So yeah, there you go. Ally Express stem versus the real thing it's very tempting to go for this one because it's only 50 bucks but i like this one a lot better the other thing i noticed with this one see how the bushings 
take up that space in between the stem. Whereas this, there's a lot of, looks like there's a lot more. Yeah, see how there's that gap there? Like, is that gonna start sliding back and forth on me? Yeah, I don't like this. I don't trust it. And I don't like all these sharp edges. And I don't like how that's not machined properly and that's not lined up. There you go. Thanks.